Okay, so in this final part, we're going to use a script in order to help us smooth out the two outer edge loops for this rim. So we want to be in point mode when we do this because the script is going to use the points. So the two outer loops that I'm talking about, and I'm just going to use the loop selection on these, is going to be those two edges there. And if we turn on the hypernerve, you can see that this outside edge here, you can see that it's kind of warped and it's not perfectly cylindrical. And this inside edge here on this lip is the same way as well. So we need to fix those two loops. So in order to do that, we're going to use a script. That's just going to make it much easier and more efficient and quicker for us to do this. Now I've included this script with this training material in the script folder. And you need to take that script and you need to copy it over to the Cinema 4D directory and I'll show you where that's at. You need to go into your Maxon folder and what we need to do is go into the R13 folder and you need to go into library and then scripts. And then you can just copy that points to circle script here inside of your scripts folder. And then in order to get to that script so we can use it, we'll go up here to script user scripts, and then points to circle. Now I have docked mine over here at the top of this palette just to get to it a little easier rather than having to click through the submenus to find it. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. You need to be in point mode, and we want to use the loop selection tool, and we want to select that ring of points there. Once we have that selected, We'll just click on the command here for the script and what it's done is it's taken all those points and evenly spaced them to make a perfectly round circle but it's also taken those points and pulled them in so it's really easy to fix this all we need to do is grab the scale tool and then scale these points back up to where we want them so I think right there will be pretty good and then we need to also make another loop selection on this outside loop like that run the script one more time and again it's going to shrink them down into a circle so we just need to go back to the scale tool and we need to scale those back up as well so I think right there will be just fine so now we'll turn the hypernerves back on and now you can see that everything is nice and smooth and round. So just to quickly finish this off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the knife tool, I'm going to be in loop mode, and I'm going to make a cut right along here on this edge. And what this is going to do is it's going to tighten that corner up to give us that nice lip that we have on the image of the rim that we were using because that is a rather sharp edge right there. All right, so with that cut in place, now we have our rim. Okay, now from here, if you want to go further with this, what you could do is you could go into edge mode. You can take that outside edge there, and we can just make the extrusion on that to pull that back, and then you can make more extrusions and scale that inward in order to shape the rest of the rim. However, we're not gonna get into that on this part. I just wanted to basically go over how to construct the rim here itself with these radial spokes. Okay, so there is our rim, and that pretty much wraps up this part. Uh, we've gone over again sub D modeling. We've also gone over uh, how to properly model these holes. We've also gone over how to properly set up your reference splines to determine how much you need to model so that can be mirrored over by the symmetry object, and then from there, using the cloner tool to uh, produce the radial pattern needed in order for the other spokes. Now there's also the issue here of the center cap. Again, that's a very easy fix. All we need to do is just uh, make another disc, put the disc in place, and then extrude the edges backward in order to give it a little depth, and that would do that as well. Uh, one thing that we could do really quick, uh, very simple, very easy, uh, in here in edge mode, you just use the loop selection again and what we can do is select uh, this over here this option called select boundary loop we turn that on and now we can select these inside loop edges here 
And just to give the rim a little depth, we can just take and extrude those back. So we'll grab hold of the Z handle, hold down control, and just extrude those back like that. Maybe about to there. And there we go. Now we've given the rim some depth. And more than likely, we'll probably need to make some cuts in here just to kind of define that edge a little better. So with the knife tool in loop mode, just make a cut there. And you can see by making that cut, we've now defined that out a little bit more. Alright, so there is the final product of our rim. Looks really good. Now all you need to do is just apply a reflective black shader to it. Or maybe you don't want black, maybe you want chrome or some type of silver. But regardless of what color you want, there's our rim. Looks pretty good and I'm happy with the way that it's turned out. Alright, so that concludes this lesson on rim modeling and as always, thank you for watching.